The Counting Topic Non-GAAP Financial Measures 1. Background In the U.S., Securities Exchange Commission, SEC, filers, or SEC registrants, are required to present their financial statements in accordance with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States, GAAP. However, registrants use non-GAAP measures that are not recognized by GAP. In addition, non-GAAP financial measures are not be permitted to appear on the face of GAAP. Compliant financial statements are footnotes to the financial statements. However, in 2020 due to coronavirus disease, COVID-19, or pandemic, more and more registrants are considering non-GAAP adjustments. On March 25, 2020, SEC's Division of Corporate Finance, CF Disclosure Guidance, Topic No. 9, provided their views regarding disclosure and other securities law obligations that companies should consider concerning the coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, and related business and market disruptions. 2. Non-GAAP Financial Measures, SEC Financial Reporting Manual, Topic 8, Non-GAAP Measures of Financial Performance, Liquidity, and Net Worth SEC Regulation G and Regulation SK, Item 10, E, Use of Non-GAAP Measures in Commission Filing Defines a non-GAAP financial measure as Non-GAAP financial measure is a numerical measure of a registrant's historical or future financial performance, financial position, or cash flows that 1. Excludes amounts or is subject to adjustments that have the effect of excluding quantities that are included in the most directly comparable measure calculated and presented following GAP in the Statement of Comprehensive Income, Balance Sheet, or Statement of Cash Flows, or Equivalent Statements, of the issuer, or 2. Includes amounts, or is subject to adjustments that have the effect of containing amounts that are excluded from the most directly comparable measure so calculated and presented. Three overview and general requirements of Regulation G and Item 10 E. SEC Regulation G states that non-GAAP financial measures must not be misleading. The most directly comparable GAAP measure must be presented. A quantitative reconciliation of the non-GAAP financial measure to the most comparable GAP measure must be submitted for one a historical non-GAAP step and two forward-looking information to the extent available without unreasonable effort. 4. Financial measures required by GAAP. The rules prohibit disclosure of non-GAAP measures on face of financial statements or in footnotes to financial statements. Financial measures that a registrant is required to disclose under GAAP, such as under Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, Accounting Standards Codification, ASE, Topic 280, Segment Reporting, Information Regarding Revenue, Profit or Loss, and Total Assets, are not considered non-GAAP measures. 5. We're Presented. The non-GAAP financial measure is generally presented in Earnings Release, in SEC Form 8K. Earnings Calls. Registrants Webcasts. Investor Presentations. Management Discussion and Analysis, MD&A, Section of SEC Forms 10K SQS. Other External Communications and Internal Operational Reviews. 6. Reconciliation of Non-GAAP Per Share Measures. When disclosing a non-GAAP per share performance measure, a registrant is required to reconcile both the numerator and the denominator used to calculate the non-GAAP per share calculation to the most directly comparable GAP measure. Additionally, GAP measure must be presented with equal or greater prominence than the non-GAAP action. Management must disclose what they believe non-GAAP financial measures are useful to the readers of financial information. Non-GAAP financial measures must not be misleading, including titles or descriptions. 7. EBIT, Earnings for Interest and Tax, EBITDA, Earnings for Interest, Tax, Depreciation, and Amortization, and adjusted EBIT and adjusted EBIT DA. Registrants believe non-GAAP measures are useful financial performance measures because they facilitate operating performance comparisons from period to period and between registrants, for example, volatility in raw prices.
by eliminating potential differences in operations results between periods caused by factors such as depreciation and amortization methods, historical cost and age of assets, financing and capital structures, and taxation positions or regimes can provide a useful additional basis for comparing the current performance of the underlying operations being evaluated. However, registrants should consider the following when they present non-GAAP measures. Consistent presentation should consistently prepare and present non-GAAP measures from period to period in accordance with a defined policy, and they should use that policy to compute the measure for all periods presented. Consistent types of adjustments should be cognizant of eliminating certain unfavorable charges in one year, if it does not expect to eliminate them in a subsequent period, if the charges happen to reverse, such as an accrual for a litigation contingency, that it is ultimately settled in a later period for a favorable amount. Further, CNDI question 100.03 discusses a scenario in which a registrant excludes certain non-recurring charges from a non-GAAP measure, but fails to exclude non-recurring gains, i.e., the registrant cherry picks. Consistent with non-GAAP measures used in the industry, a registrant may want to consider whether its non-GAAP measures are consistent with standard measures used in its industry or by its peers, and, if they are not, how the differences may affect comparability with other registrants. A registrant's non-GAAP measures may differ from those used in its industry or of its peer companies. However, the registrant should consider whether any differences should be explained. 8. What is a potentially misleading non-GAAP measure? Non-GAAP measures that could mislead investors include those that exclude normal, recurring cash operating expenses necessary for business operations. Are presented inconsistently between periods, such as by adjusting an item in the current reporting period, but not a similar item in the prior period, without appropriate disclosure about the change and an explanation of the reasons for it. Exclude certain non-recurring charges, but do not exclude non-recurring gains, for example, cherry-picking non-GAAP adjustments to achieve the most positive measure. Are based on individually tailored accounting principles, including certain adjusted revenue measures. 9. Common items included in non-GAAP financial measures. Acquisition transaction-related costs. Disposition and exit of business activities. Environmental remediation expense. Equity and earnings of affiliated companies, net of tax. Debt extinguishment costs. Extraordinary expense items related to COVID-19. Fair value adjustments related to purchase accounting. Gains and losses on disposal of fixed assets. Gains and losses on FX remeasurement. Hurricane-related costs, net of reimbursement. Impairment. AR. Assets, or others. Impairment. Goodwill or intangibles. Integration costs. Inventory step up, write down, spread, etc. Litigation expense. Pension settlement charge. Restructuring. Stock based or deferred compensation. Tax for capital gains reimbursement XRO. Tax reform adjustments. Tax valuation allowance. 10. Where to find more information? Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Compliance and Disclosure Interpretations, CNDI, which is updated from time to time. Consult your external auditors.